Welcome back to another episode of Enjoy Northwoods. You know where we're headed. decent height um, I checked it a couple days ago and it was still really high we had some heavy rains last week and uh, let me show you and it lifted it you can see how high uh, the water was it just it just flooded all this out and doing its thing but you can see how it went way up there and around See, we're just washed all the stuff out and bare banks all over so um hopefully we can get this uh classifier to work but let me get her set up and get at it This is uh, for just a river sluice. This is damn near ideal. We're just shoveling right on. It's working pretty good. fire out uh, to dump it or to stop it so you just uh, get the flow off into the bucket and then the bank so okay you can see it is just even the carpet it's it's pretty black it's a lot of black sands um Fortunately, I already lost my glasses today, and I didn't throw my extra set in my bag because I haven't learned my lesson, apparently. Okay, cleaned out, back ready to rock, corn soaking, all growing. I better better check on my precious cargo here. Make sure uh, make sure it handled the ride. Mmm. Oh. oh, it made it. 
just fine. Okay. I'd like to dig around that boulder and see what's there, but you know, we'll probably do that. Nice and black looking. Okay, we got kind of around the front, the back side of that boulder now, to the bank, and I, I tried to like go right to just the bottom of the, the clay edge and just try to clean it up the best I can, so try to do a, more of a thorough job instead of a bigger area, and probably less bold this way, but at least I don't second guess myself to want to go back and dig a hole under a hole I just dug. So. I'm gonna let that baby clear out for a second, get my bucket, and we're gonna do a clean out and get some lunch going. All right, clean up number two, and I don't see, but I don't have my glasses, any verifiable gold in the mat, but it is just packed full. It looks pretty dark, so. Throw my piece of corn on there. I'll wring it out a little bit. Ooh. I want my bag. I'm gonna start steaming it up. All right, check this out. Uh, Kirk at Secret Creek had uh, Robinson prospecting equipment uh, send this over to me. Never got to use one before, um, but I've seen people using this and no classifier because it just has those big, like shutter type ripples. And they didn't classify either, and the rocks just bounce right over that. i am kind of got this at a weird angle. You can see how it's clearing out, how the current's going across, but we're just kind of playing. It's amazing. And I just wanted to see how it cleared out. I'm going to run a little bit through it. I got this running pretty hot, but look at that. You can see it's, everything is just beehiving on it. It's clearing out some of them rocks and everything else. It's just all moving around. How cool is that? Super lightweight. It's just kind of like a foam plastic. Uh, weighs nothing. Easy to operate, easy to set up, man. That's a nice packing packer's frame when you're just uh, out of prospecting and uh, stumble across something you might want to run a sluice on. No, no effort to bring it with you. So awesome. I'm going to shovel a little bit more in here and uh, check the old school, been around for a long time. Okay. We're going to make ourselves some shish kebab. Nice ear of corn, so I'm just going to uh, cube up some steak, and some vegetables, skewer them, and let them roast on top of fire. Uh, you see that?
I don't see any buildup underneath the mat. Everything looks like it's exchanging well. Even the back, there's no pile up on the tailings. I'm just trying to scrape that clay on the bottom. Lunch is done. Look how awesome that is. So let me uh, let me get at it. Awesome tour luck. Finger food in it today. Oh, perfect. Maybe a three by three area, maybe a foot and a half deep. I'm trying to do it a little more thorough this time instead of Swiss cheese in it and jumping around. We're just gonna start here and uh, just slowly next time I'll, I'll res uh, resume from where I left off. How awesome. So anyways, let's head back to the house, see if we got anything. All right, we're back. Uh, what a day, it took me a day to recover. Still ain't recovered. Um, last time I was there was early springtime. The mushrooms were still up. And uh, I worked it over the winter and found, found it and kind of seen where it was traveling. And it's the beginning of it was about where we started. So hopefully we started at the beginning. Like I said, I went wider than I normally do. And we went down to the, the bottom and we cleaned that clay up the best we could without digging big chunks out. Uh, just kind of kept skimming the surface of it. Um, so it's, I'm really interested to see what we got. It's All right. There's our pile of cons separated from our pile of bigs. All right, we're done. And I do see some gold. There's like two decent pieces. All right. Nothing in the bigs. And this is what we ended up with. I kind of thought we were going to get more than this, but we started right in the beginning. Um, so I'm hoping the next time out we'll do better, but there's like two or three, like one 
yeah, maybe a couple nicer pieces and it's a little bit on the better decent side. We still got plenty of micro. There's one floating. Just dropped out. But maybe 40 pieces, 30 pieces. I dug a big old hole for that. I think I got that in one of my pans in the springtime. But uh, like I said, we're uh, right on the beginning. So that's how it goes sometimes. So the next time, uh, hopefully we'll do a little better. So till the next adventure, we'll see you around.